bedroom encounter model airship this is the floor plan we're going to use the floor plan to lay out the shape of the building uh, so you can see it gives us baselines to reference here uh, so kind of my routine is the first thing I'll always do is establish this northeast corner first so that's where I drove this rebar right here so now we've hooked the string to this corner rebar you know here we're used to the landscape, so we can just point it out a certain mountain, but the real way to do it is actually with a compass. So he's stretching that string long, and I know what solar south is in our latitude. It's basically seven degrees east of magnetic south. So we're going to go a little bit east just for the view. So right there, I'm at 10 degrees east of magnetic south. inside of tire work, 47 foot, one and a half inches. So let's go ahead and measure that out. Center of rebar. Not so. face of rebar. Oh, center of rebar. Center. Oh, I see. Or actually string. Yes, yeah, string. Shit. Okay. You're right. My bad. My bad. Alright, so we're going up 12 feet. Make a little mark there. Center of that mark I made. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, I could maybe just go barely to the east up there, but eh, no. Well, that's more like it. Yeah, we're about a half off then. That's 
so now we got 90 degrees. We got two corners of the building. So the next thing to find is our three tire turns on these flank walls here. Um, so this should give us a dimension from front to back. So there's that dimension is 14.8 to inside of the room. Oh, here we go. 28.5 to inside of flank wall. So he's given us a written in dimension here. So now we can go from our baseline on the back here, 28 feet and five inches. That'll give us the back of our flank wall right here. So we're gonna go ahead and lay out that. Thing. take a parallel measurement this way. Okay. That's gonna give us our other sideline. So now we have all four corners of our rectangle established and we're just going to double check everything we just did by pulling a diagonal measurement from both corners and if they match the same number that means we're square and we can go ahead and start building. 